our gallery curator here. Does anybody know what a curator is? No. No. So basically what I do is I get to look at lots of artists' work, and then I get to pick uh, the, the stuff that comes into the gallery. So sometimes I pick sculpture, this show is all about sketchbooks, so it's a really cool, fun job. I'm also an artist, a filmmaker, uh, I've written a couple books as well, so I really like to do lots of different kinds of things. So if you ever have questions about creativity in this time we're having together, feel free to ask. So this project sketchbook exhibition is all about opening up the sketchbooks, the private sketchbooks of, there is 29 artists in this show. And most often, artists have, like, do any of you have sketchbooks that you work in? Whoa, so many, that's awesome. And how often do you show people? Or do you usually keep them to yourself? You sometimes show them? Well, that's good, that's good. I have a sketchbook. I was actually gonna bring it and I completely forgot. But I have a sketchbook, but in it I write like some weird dreams and I draw weird things and I have like, you know, all kinds of weird art and stuff and stuff like collage and journal entries. So I don't want to show my sketchbook. Often people are like, oh, this is my, my private work. This is where I express myself and it's free. It's a free place where I can draw, write, do whatever, right? So what's really cool is here we get to see, I think there's 60 different pages from real artists' sketchbooks. They have let us like open, they've opened up their sketchbooks so we can peer in, which is really cool. There are artists from all around the world in here. There's two artists from Stony Plain, and then there is 10 artists from Edmonton. There's an artist from Sherwood Park, from Barhead, from Leduc County, uh, there's multiple artists from uh, Spruce Grove. Um, we actually have one artist here from New York, and we have two artists in this show from Berlin, Germany, which is like super cool. Um, so maybe like after when we look around again, after we talk for a little bit, you can tell me, hey, I found the artist uh, from New York, or I found the artist from Berlin, or I found the Stony Plain artist. Because on the bottom right hand corner, it says each artist's name, and it also says where they're from, which is kind of cool because you get to see art from all around the world. There's also Ontario, Calgary, um, so all around Alberta. Has anybody seen anything here that they're like, whoa, that's really inspiring for your own sketchbook? Yeah. Tell me, wh which ones do you guys like? That way. Which one? Oh yeah, so flowers. And so what is something that you notice about that one? What what medium is that painted in? Or created in? Like the dark. So you can see here on all these it says this is something that not many people use that acrylic. It looks like Gucci. <laughs> Gucci. And so here you can see this one is watercolor ink. This one, oh I found one of the Berlin Germany here. You guys got a hint. This one is a pencil drawing. So something that's really cool about sketchbooks is they can be created with anything you can imagine. So I, right now, in my sketchbook, I'm drawing faces, really goofy faces. People with big eyes and you know, funny lips and funny expressions. And I use acrylic, I use pen, I even use some nail polish. So when you're in your sketchbook, it's a really cool opportunity to try different mediums. So even you can see this one right here, she's got a lot of things. She's got brown paper, which is a grocery bag, painted and stamped with acrylic, collage and found materials, gold pen. So like there's a lot of different kinds of materials here. And also you probably noticed there's some things that are architecture. If you look across at that wall, you can see sort of like blueprints on the bottom one is uh, an Orthodox church which has really cool shapes. But then you can also see there's portraiture. There's also a complete uh, abstraction. So this artist, Jessica Semenov uh, from Calgary, she looks at nature but she creates um, abstract compositions based on her, her perception of what she's looking at. So a sketchbook is a really fun place where there's you can't do anything wrong. If you don't do, do something you don't like, you can always draw over it. So that's a really fun place. It's like a visual journal where you can just have fun. 
That's what we're noticing is that we have some perfectionists in there. But not everything in your journal is going, or your sketchbook is going to be polished work. Mm -hmm. There's lots of process to it. So yes. Yes. Yeah. And I think that as a creative person, if you get too focused on being perfect, you're going to stop making art. Because art is all about experimentation, play, happy accidents. And one time when I was feeling like, oh, I just don't know what to paint, and I can't paint anymore. Oh, I was having like a young adult, you know, pity party, right? I got a really piece of a really good piece of advice. This advice said, go make an ugly painting. I think we always feel like, oh, I'm gonna make something pretty, I'm gonna make something that people like, and ah. And art is like on the outside, you know, things people can see, people can judge us. But just make an ugly painting, and I was like, oh. And you know what's funny? It's St. Patrick's Day, you're all in green. Back then I was like, green is my least favorite color. And so I took, you know, ugly green and baby poop brown, and I just made this like, horrific mess across this canvas. It actually kind of looked cool at the end. I have it stored. It's not cool enough to like actually show people. <laughs> but, but then it kind of was probably going. So if you're ever feeling like, oh, I'm worried what other people are going to think, make something weirder. Make something uglier. Make something totally crazy. Something like you're like, oh, this is never going to work. You might actually get something really cool out of it.